Good morning, y'all. It is Friday, June 25th, 7.42 a.m. And we are just now leaving camp. So, um, Hawk's up ahead. I had to stop because um, yesterday, my pack, I guess, just rubbing up on that rash, really, like, irritated it. So I had to put a bunch of Luco tape over the rash where the straps hitting it um last night i slept pretty good um that quilt i actually woke up sweating in the middle of the night with that quilt on but then it got chilly this morning and it worked great i never felt a draft or nothing i think that quilt's gonna work out really really good today i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling pretty rough um i don't know why just maybe because of like I said, all the medicine I'm taking right now. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty rough and a little out of it. Hoping after hiking a few miles, couple miles, um, I'll get feeling better. That usually happens. And we're not really sure where we're going today. We're going to try to avoid Upper Goose Pond because that's 15 miles or so. But it's Friday. So that is not a good place to go to. So yeah, we have no plans really, just like normally. And um, what else? I think that's it. No one, only one other person showed up last night at that shelter, which is crazy. So we may be in like a, in between a big, in between the little bubble groups, which would be awesome. Yep. Well, anyways, let me go ahead and keep on hiking, catch up to Hawk, and I will get back with y'all. All right. Hey y'all, so it is almost 11 o'clock and we have hiked 6.7 miles so far. So not so, not too bad. Um, the terrain's been pretty easy. Not too, a lot of downhills, not a lot of climbing. Yesterday 
was all about climbing. We were doing these short, steep climbs all day. Um, but today it's been a lot of downhills more, a few little climbs, but not anything that bad. Um, but we have a pretty decent climb coming up right now. It's only 0.8, but still, I know it's a pretty decent climb. Because I remember going down it in my last hike. So anyways, um, yeah, so I, I got up this morning, or I got to hiking, and I had to stop because my rash, the straps were like rubbing up against my um, rash. So I just got some Luco tape and I put some big old swabs across it wherever the um, little thing runs across there. So that's helping a lot. Luco, Luco tape, man, it's like a second skin. It'll save you for sure. Um, yeah, and, and the weather's pretty nice. It's a little muggy out, but not super hot. It's um, overcast, not real sunny. So that's kind of nice too. So Wildcard um, left us a message today saying that he is going to meet us up the trail somewhere today. So who knows what's going to happen with that. Um, he didn't say anything about hiking with us, so I don't know. But you never know with Wildcard. That's the thing. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, but anyways, man, this is a cool spot. Hawk just hiked by. I was going to say we should stop and break here, but I guess I'll keep on hiking too. And... Um, yeah, I think that's it, man. Just really, really peaceful out here and beautiful, great day. And yeah, man, can't, can't complain. Can't complain. Life is good. All right. I will talk with y'all in a little bit. All right.
Hey y'all, so it is one o'clock in the afternoon and I have no idea how many miles I've hiked so far, but man, it's been an amazing day and a lot of the trails have been in these like hemlock mixed spruce forests, lots of old growth, the birds have been going off today, it's awesome man, I love it. It's an amazing, amazing day. So, we, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's about five miles. Um, or actually, I probably think eight miles to this road where we were thinking about it's something probably around there. I would say about eight miles to this road where um, we're going to meet Wildcard. That's what um, Hawk had texted him back and told him. That would be the best road to meet at. So I think that's like three miles past Upper Goose Pond Shelter area. So when we were, we were hanging out at this um, view back there taking a break. And this huge, it looked like a family because there was probably like, it, <laughs> there was a dad and then like a couple younger adults. And then it just went down the road and a bunch of kids, um, probably like 10 all together. So we're like, oh yeah, we're sure they're heading up there. That's the thing, that place gets packed on the weekends. Honestly, it gets packed every day during the summer, but on the weekends, man. If, if I was through hiking, I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't go there regardless, really. Um, but definitely not on the weekend, um, unless you like a lot of company. And if you like a lot of company, then then it would be awesome, probably. All right, well, man, it's so beautiful. I love this forest. I am just taking it slow today, man. There's no reason to rush. So wonderful. All right, well, I will get back with y'all. So we just passed Upper Goose Pond Shelter. As you saw on that sign, it said the cabin's closed. I don't know if it still is. They might not have taken the sign down. Um, I'm sure it was closed during the, um, you know what. Um, so I don't know if it still is or not, but the sign said closed. Either way, I know people have been camping there. Um, I've seen lots of Instagram posts of people camping there. So I'm sure you can still camp there if the cabin is closed. So, and I think that was like a little over 15 for today. So we're doing another three miles to this road where Wildcard's going to pick us up. He said he was running late and he won't be there till like 7.30-ish. Um, and it's 3.45 right now. So we'll get there probably a little early. There's a hotel right there by the trail. Um hawk said and he also said there's a town that's not too far away either that we we're looking at so we're not sure we're pretty sure wildcard since he drove all the way here since he drove all the way here um because he lives a good ways away and he didn't mention anything about camping he just wanted to meet us and hang out for a bit i doubt he's just going to want to come here 
and then drive back. So I'm thinking he probably wants to hang out with us in town, take us in town. But we'll see. We're not really sure. Um, the conversation's been vague, so I'm not really sure. But all I know is, yeah, we're almost finished with the day, like three more miles. Um, and yeah, and then when we get to that road, I will get back with y'all. All right. Alright y'all, so we made it to the road where we're supposed to meet Wildcard. Um, as you can see, Hawk's down there. He's gonna he's gonna try to hitch, but this road looks sketchy. I guess they could pull off here. That's why he got up on the hill. So he's gonna see hitch. If not, um it's like three hours till seven till Wildcard said he was getting here, so I don't know. We'll see how far we can hitch if we can hitch. Uh, we'll try, and if not, maybe we'll... I did see a road on gut hooks up the ways. So maybe, I don't know, we can hike a few more miles or a couple more miles to that road. Um, and then have him pick us up there. But I will get back with y'all and let you know exactly what happened or if we got picked up or not. All right. So we made it into town. So we were at that road and we were hitching. Well, Hawk was hitching. Honestly, I didn't think we were gonna hit, get a hitch, um, but Hawk was persistent and he. Um, we walked down to the parking area and then we started walking back to the road and Hawk's like, let me cross the road real quick. And as soon as he crossed the road and put out his thumb, this guy came by and stopped for us. Construction worker, blue collar dude, of course. Um, all the yuppies just kept driving, just saying. Um, so the dude picked us up, drove us into a town called Lee. Um, we're at the Quality Inn right now. Um, it was like a hundred bucks. We split it half and half. Um, the only reason we really came into town is because Wildcard is coming in um, to surprise us to hang out. So he's still not here. I got my whole video edited already, um, waiting for him. But that's the only reason we really came into town to see him. We're going to hang out. We're going to get right back on trail in the morning. Um, yeah, so um, right now, like, um, I'm still able to hike pretty decent. The Like, the this thing I got, these shingles, is like, I don't know. It's it's creepy, man. It's almost like, um, like you're being mutated, like part of you. <laughs> it's so weird, man. I don't even want to look at it. I'm just like dealing with the pain. I just wanted to hurry up and get over with. I'm hoping that medication just knocks it out quick. I'm just hoping I don't have to deal with it much because I already had to like tape up my sides um, with Luco tape. And yeah, man, it's just it's just one more thing on top of hiking every day and every all the other uncomforts. Just one more thing, but that's okay because I'm used to this. My through hikes, I am always just, my plate is overflowing every time. That's just the way it is. So I am going to end the video now. I'm not, we went, we ate at McDonald's and now we're just here chilling out. I'm not really going to do anything, but just hang out here. And then, um, yeah, and then we will get back on trail tomorrow and we're just waiting for wild card. All right. Well, I will talk with y'all in the morning. All right.